Hey guys, it's been a hot minute. I should plan for this better. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a little while since I've been on YouTube and an even bigger while since I've actually sat down and spoken to you guys. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but either way, I just wanted to say I'm gonna try to be back as much as possible and give you guys as much content as possible as well. But yeah, today I want to do um, a video documenting my apartment hunt kind of journey and this is definitely going to be a long one because I saw I think I counted 14 different apartments and those are only the ones I want to show you guys. Yeah I just kind of want to document what it was like moving to London and different apartments that I had and the kind of like process of how it all got done. Before I start I want to say that like moving to London is obviously a very complicated thing. I tried planning out the different apartments I'd be viewing like months and months and months ahead and they literally wouldn't let me. They're like you if you view apartment you need to move in like six weeks like within six weeks of viewing that apartment but because of that you kind of had to leave it a little bit to last minute which was pretty stressful on its own but that's kind of how markets are in bigger cities so that makes sense even before you look it would be better if you kind of got a tour of the area potentially a tour of like where you want to live I knew like what my requirements were which I'm going to talk to you in a minute but those are the things that kind of established for me the different areas I'd be living in or the areas that I was looking at so to kind of get into like our requirements the first requirement that we had was bright and large windows because I could not live in a dark apartment I was currently living in a house where even though I had a smaller room I was so much happier because of the fact that I had so much light that to me was like a definitely need an apartment especially if I was gonna be living at home for like the next few months like I just ne needed to have an apartment that had light in otherwise I just knew I would get depressed next one is that it had to be close to work and when you say close to work it meant either close to transport links that could get us to work quickly or like from like walking distance from work at the time we were kind of looking at all kinds of different bedrooms because it was just me and her but we obviously knew that if we got a two bedroom apartment it would be more expensive so we were keeping our options open and a few other friends of ours were still looking for internships and hadn't found some yet so we were also looking at three bedrooms and potentially four bedrooms which also added to the stress but ideally you should know the amount of bedrooms you want to look at before you get started so that you don't have the same stress that I had. The next one or requirement that I had was cheap rent so we were ideally looking between 500 and 800 each and 800 was like the biggest stretch we could push for it because we were desperate like if we couldn't find anything else we would go for 800 but it was genuinely a stretch for the both of us because we both would rather save up a little bit yeah ideally 600 700 I mean cheaper would always be better but we knew that wasn't potentially as realistic our next one was that it had to be close to central London or potentially in central London just because we didn't want to be far out. Next one is close to transport link, so this one was really important. It had to be relatively close to a tube station, so within 15 minutes walk, ideally around the 10 minute mark. And then the next one is that it has to allow for pets, because like Jack was coming with me, he was not gonna not come, so we wouldn't even look at an apartment. The first thing we would ask is whether they allowed pets. If they said no, we just moved on. Another one is that I really wanted a living room, like I, I kind of needed it, especially since we were gonna be living from home. We felt like we needed our own separate space and a space where we could potentially entertain so for me that was a requirement a lot of flats in London do use a living room as like a third bedroom sometimes and for me that was just not gonna work because if I want to have a party or something you can't be doing that in someone's room for me it was a requirement that there would be a living room we need to be in a safe neighborhood me and my flatmate there were just two of us and we're both girls even if we potentially thought about having a third or fourth person they would all be girls because that's what we felt more comfortable with so we felt like we really would have preferred being in a safe neighborhood for those reasons. The next thing is that we wanted, well not wanted, but we needed a washing machine. We could pass other amenities, but washing machine was not going to be one of them. Now in terms of want, ideally we preferred rooms that were kind of equal sized because usually you kind of get one bigger like master bedroom and then you get kind of more of like an office or box room. It wasn't like terrible, but then it meant, you know, like re-evaluating how much each person was paying and stuff like that. So it was just easier for all of us if we just had equal sized bedrooms. Then we 
also would have preferred like a modern environment so modern kitchen modern bathroom i feel like those are the two kind of more important ones then lauren said that she preferred a shower over a bath so i kind of kept an eye out for that a large living room would have been better than a smaller one close to amenities such as like i don't know potentially a gym or groceries and stuff like that that would have also been ideal so that we didn't have to go far out to find out those amenities then ideally kind of like a modern or like young neighborhood you know we didn't want to be necessarily completely in i want to say like a homey cozy neighborhood like we would rather be around other young people and like just feel like a vibe and isolate it but like just like not around families and stuff like that because we were probably looking to like party as well a little bit and like be close to like cafes stuff like that like that was kind of the vibe we were going for then we want our rooms to fit desks because like all of us were going to be working from home i personally would have preferred hardwood floors so where that was possible i felt like it was easier to clean especially with the cat and so that was another one of my requirements now to get into the actual apartments so we looked at different areas but the first area that we looked at was bethnal green and so the first apartment that i saw it was a 1700 apartment it was a two bedroom it was along a high street and it was around 850 each so it was already out of our budget it was a really nice apartment really spacious it was really bright it had south facing windows in the living room so uh that was great it had a modern kitchen i pretty sure it had a dishwasher as well it definitely had a washer one of the rooms was like really big had an ensuite the other room was a double bedroom still really big and it had like another shower so we had two bathrooms so it was basically like two en suites so it was really nice but first of all in terms of price it was already kind of expensive so we were like maybe let's not go there and then second of all we just thought potentially the location wasn't the best it didn't feel exactly the safest i didn't feel particularly comfortable standing outside waiting for the agent there i remember feeling like i'm not too sure about this location so because of that we were like okay in terms of transport links i think we quickly decided that bethnal green maybe wasn't the best place the second apartment that i viewed was a four bed council flat so that was the second one i viewed that day and this one i was already like not in the greatest headspace when i toured this apartment because uh, the sun was like blaring which triggered my migraine so this was like at the beginning of the heat waves in the uk so i was not having the best of times and on top of that the building I was outside of was really suspicious like when you went up the walkway in the stairs it looked really run down and like not at all managed and yeah it just didn't give me the best of vibes on the outside then when you actually entered the flat the flat was like really modern but it was a four bedroom and I just didn't know realistically if I could convince four people or like three other people to live with me in here just because at the minute there were two of us confirmed I wasn't even sure if we would have a third person there so I was like maybe a four bedroom wouldn't be the best thing to look at right now it was relatively cheap though it was 2492 so that was like 623 each which is like a pretty good price and it had a lot of amenities so it had it was like pretty modern it had like led lights had tvs in every room the rooms were really really small though most of them could not fit a desk so that was another thing i had to take into account the living room was not the biggest either yeah no overall I just didn't get a good vibe from the building so for me that was like automatically just no and it wasn't close to transport links i think the only thing i was close to was an overground and that was it so wasn't close to the tube station or whatever so in general we were like okay maybe not the best vibe either then the second area we checked was Whitechapel slash Allgate east this area or location was like really actually useful for the both of us so we kind of liked it first place that we saw was a three bed so this one was 1842 so that was like 900 plus each and i'll explain this basically it was a warehouse conversion and it looked really nice i thought it was really cool and stuff like that except the only thing is that there were three beds rooms but it could only be used as a two bedroom because of i don't know it was like council something like you had to pay a tax if in order to have more than two people living in a flat i think and it was like a thousand pounds or something and the landlord didn't want to pay it three people were currently living in there but when i visited they were like only two people can move in here so it would have been 600 ish if there were three of us but with only two of us it was over 900 each so it wasn't really realistic really nice apartment though except one room was like really really nice gorgeous i think it was south facing windows as well but the other two rooms were facing inwards towards the inside of the building and they were really really dark and when i say dark like extremely dark and on top of that they had like glazed windows so that people from the inside of the building can just peek into your apartment so honestly not ideal and then the living room was really nice as well but like again because of all those problems we just didn't see it happening next one so these were two flats within a warehouse conversion but this warehouse conversion was huge like it had 
thousands I want to say of flats in it and so the first one that we went to was like around 600 each I don't remember exactly but I remember it being cheap and it was huge like it had brick walls stuff like that like it was honestly very unique very nice only problem is that one bedroom had a window towards the outside the other two bedrooms like either didn't have a window or had like a glazed like I want to say those doors that like swipe I forgot what it's called that slide yeah the slide the slide open doors and those would like go into the living room so that why like it just wasn't wasn't great it was really nice but just because of that two bedrooms just didn't have access to good lighting so I knew I wouldn't want to live in there so I didn't see why I would suggest other people do the other apartment was the same like it was actually a lot bigger but like again the same problem so we just didn't see it happening it just wasn't really possible and I think the first one as well like the bedrooms were a bit too small to have desks the second one was like very just you maybe could fit a desk but that was about it okay so that was like the end of that first visit then i went back to lafra safra etc geez i can't speak today then i went back to london another time and so the first place that i visited was again in olga east and so this apartment apartment number six was a two bedroom another warehouse conversion <clears throat> and this one was really cheap it was 15 17 so that was like 750 each like not the cheapest but it was pretty doable compared to the others that we had seen that were in 800 900 ranges um, the rooms were pretty small, I had to say, and one was a lot bigger than the other, even though they were both small already, so one of them definitely could not fit a desk in there, so, like, that probably wasn't even in the question. Second one, maybe, but it was still, like, awkwardly, I want to say, put together, so I don't even know if you could have fit a desk there. Living room was nice, it was really, like, it was cute, it was really homely, but the only issue as well is that the windows were, like, super high up, and so it didn't have the best lighting, which again for me would have been a problem in both the room and the living room. And the living room was small. So I was like, one thing I did like is that they said they were flexible. They would get rid of the carpet potentially if we wanted us to because they were renovating it. So I was like, okay, like that would have been great for me. And again, all these places were okay of pets. But because of that, I was like, mm-mm. Yeah, no, otherwise it was a nice neighborhood. It had a doorman, so that meant it was like really safe and all the apartments around it were literally gorgeous. They were like the expensive type of gorgeous in London that you get, so it definitely felt safe. The next apartment that I saw was in Walworth and this one's like kind of south from Elephant and Castle, but it wasn't that close. I thought it'd be closer. I thought it'd be potentially, I don't know, 15 minutes to walk up, but it was actually a lot longer than that. The first apartment that I saw there was a two bedroom apartment. It was 1450, so pretty cheap. It was very small. It was a little bit dark as well, but it was modern and it looked really nice. So, you know, and like it had a lot of amenities. Uh, I think the rooms were also slightly too small for desks, that was another thing to take into account. But the biggest thing for me was that it was far from transport links, there were only buses that would go up and to me I was like I'm not going to pay for a bus then take the tube, like it was just too much of a cost so I was like not worth it and even to get onto the main street it was like a solid five minute walk so I was like just no way and when I was walking up that street as well I didn't feel particularly comfortable, I think I got chatted up like three times and I was like Maybe not, you know, just because of that. So overall, did not really fall in love with this one. The next one that I saw was actually in Elephant Castle, and this one was a high-rise, gorgeous two-bedroom apartment. Like, when I say that gorgeous, like, it just was. It was a bit expensive. It was, like, 17 15 but the agent I was talking to said that they could potentially push it down to 1600 That was still 800 each, but it was just such a nice apartment. Like, it was huge high-rise, like, pretty nice views. I want to say like not views of London but like it had a view and like floor to ceiling windows like just overall super nice one of the bedrooms was bigger the other bedroom was a lot smaller but even then I felt like it was a good sacrifice in my opinion it was just like really really nice and the kitchen was kind of small though the living room was pretty big I remember feeling like I, I really liked it at the time so yeah no overall I just felt like it was a really nice one really good contender as well but as you'll see, we found a better one. Oh, and also it had access to a gym and a pool, so that would have saved us cost. So in my opinion, it kind of made sense that we would potentially put in that extra cost because a gym in London is pretty expensive normally. But yeah, it didn't have a dryer, it didn't have a wash, a dishwasher, but yeah, just amazing. The next few ones are all in like Whitechapel. So the next three ones actually were all in one warehouse conversion. 
And so this one as well had like thousands, and when I say thousands, like potentially thousands of flats in that warehouse conversion. It was huge, it had so many different flats. The first one I saw was a three bedroom, it was 2100. I thought it was a bit expensive for what it was because honestly it was dark, it was depressing. It had a terrace, the terrace was really nice, but again it was just so dark and the living room was kind of small so i remember thinking why it costed that much granted it's not that much but for me i was like i wouldn't want to put in that amount of money considering that two of the bedrooms were just like literally looking on the inside of the building but completely dark and just yeah not nice and then the third bedroom was looking i don't even remember where it was looking but it wasn't was not great so i remember thinking just no the second bedroom that we saw however was 1500 and that was a two bedroom and that one was great super nice lighting super modern like literally when you come into a flat you just see the light pooling in just like gorgeous it was still small but the rooms were more equal size and they were like honestly i think bigger literally they had modern appliances like you know they had a dishwasher a washer dryer i don't know if they had a dryer but they definitely had the washer there they had one bathroom to share but the bathroom was really nice Overall, I really like this flat. Like, I feel like this one would have been a potential one. And then the last apartment it was a three bedroom. It was 2000, so it was cheaper than the first one. But this one was north facing, and I really just couldn't, I just couldn't do it. It was too dark. I had also the, the terrace, but it was, in my opinion, just too dark. And two of the other bedrooms were obviously facing towards the inside of the building again. And for me, I was like, I just can't do this. So overall, it was again, a pretty good contender, but I, the darkness for me just would have not made it. The only reason why I didn't get the, the two bedroom in there was because the street of the um, entire warehouse conversion was a little bit of a sketchy street. And I didn't really feel like I would have been comfortable walking there at night. Because of that, I was like, you know, even though they got, like, there was a doorman there, so, like, that was great. I just didn't feel like it was the safest, and because there were so many people living there, I just felt like it wasn't necessarily as private either, so it just felt a little bit like a warehouse. I mean, not like a warehouse, it just felt a little bit like, like there was just too many people living there, so I didn't feel necessarily like the homey vibes, if that makes sense, and I could understand if it potentially got really loud. Because of that, we decided, you know, we'll think about it, but we'll go back to it. Next apartment that we saw was kind of like more in a small building, so there were like three floors, and this one was on the first floor. The apartment was really nice, it was really big. It was 1650 with bills included. There was only two bedrooms, so that was a bit expensive, but because of the bills included, I was like, maybe and it had like a shared terrace outside but the room was really nice like one of the rooms was like i think south facing it was a little bit bigger the other room was a little bit smaller but it was still pretty big and it was north facing so i knew personally like if i had to live there i would have definitely picked the south facing one so it was just kind of like whether my flatmate would have been comfortable living in the other room bathroom was all right i think it was pretty good i don't remember i think it was a little bit dirty when i went but they would have cleaned that up anyways and then living room for me was a bit small and the kitchen, I didn't think, I don't think it had a dishwasher. I'm not even sure if it had a washer dryer. But overall, kitchen was kind of small. Living room was definitely kind of small. But it was really nice, just a bit expensive as well. So it was something to think. And I asked them if he would potentially go lower, and they said no. So the apartment I saw after that, yeah. So this one was again in Elephant and Castle, kind of more of a luxury building. But to say the least, it was 1715, I'm pretty sure. And so for us it was just too expensive even if they got it down to 1600s i didn't feel like it was worth necessarily the price the bathroom kind of reminded me a little bit of like the campus shared bathrooms a little bit so not the greatest rooms were nice but they had really terrible wallpaper so that would definitely have to be something to go living room again was nice but it just didn't feel private because it was on the first floor and people could literally see into your apartment because it was like on a pretty busy road so just because of that i was like I don't know literally your bedrooms as well it wasn't just the living room so but it looked really really nice but i just couldn't see myself paying the price and thinking that it was worth it necessarily because if you're going to be in the high-rise building be in the higher part of the building i don't know so yeah because of that we didn't end up picking this so this last apartment which is actually the one that we did end up picking i'm not going to share the location for safety reasons but this was 2055 a month so 685 each that was like really nice in terms of price which is why i had to see it granted when i went to go see it it was under construction in the living room at least so i couldn't fully see what the living room looked like but overall kind of had a quick glance so i was pretty happy with it especially from what i saw in the pictures and then the rooms are all pretty big and equal size and i'd literally never seen rooms around that size anywhere else and again lighting was pretty good 
there was west and east facing window facing windows and one window was facing north ish but it was still like pretty bright so overall I was like pretty happy i got the room with the west facing windows because i was just thinking like more light comes in and i really really appreciated that but yeah no overall great flat is a really nice location it's really close to central which is what we wanted what we're looking for is near bus routes it's also near transport I like the tube it has like a pretty big living space in my opinion like i remember coming in being like yeah this is pretty nice you know if we want to host we could and then I felt safe because it was like kind of near a police station as well so i didn't feel like you know potentially it wouldn't be safe i came home and the bus stops being so close and you feel like if i were to get home like it's not a far walk from the bus stop to my flat so overall felt nice there's only like a few apartments in this building so it doesn't feel like overcrowded or anything like that and you know potentially it's not as quiet because of the police station but i felt like overall it was a pretty good decision that we made in the short time that we had i think we only had a few weeks before we had to move in anyways and they were happy for us to move in quickly as well and happy with the cat and everything so overall yeah no we were pretty happy with this didn't have a dishwasher and it didn't have a dryer either but again like i've lived here now for like a few months and it's been fine because of that i'll eventually do a proper like house tour and a proper like room tour but it's not going to be now because my room is constantly in a state of a mess i'm still kind of moving in like not fully but like kind of so yeah i have like a I have one of my suitcases like still there that but you know overall I'm doing great I know Jack is doing great yeah Jackie loves our new flat so he's actually escaped through our windows a few times but he's fine he's given that up once he figured out that it's kind of boring what's outside the windows so yeah Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week. I'll see you guys next week and thank you guys for watching and bye.